Hi, I'm Brian with ericksontutoring.blogspot.com. Today we're going to discuss what radon is used for. Radon is the 86th element on the periodic table. It is a radioactive noble gas. Um, so radioactive means that it spontaneously undergoes decay, and a noble gas means that there's eight electrons in the outside shell. So it's not really very reactive with other elements. Um, it's colorless and odorless, um, but it actually can be quite dangerous. Um, Houses built um, poorly uh, in certain types of soil can have high concentrations of radon in their basements, especially because it settles down there. Um, and radon is actually pretty harmful for your lungs. It's the second leading cause of lung cancer. And uh, here in the US, it's the sixth leading cause of cancer death. So um, there's one man in the UK whose house had such a high concentration of radon that it was as though he were smoking 135 packs of cigarettes a day. Um, pretty, pretty serious implications for the lungs. Um, so in terms of what radon is used for, um, radon is used in radiotherapy to treat cancer, oddly enough. Um, it also can be used to track um, the movements of, of air masses by atmospheric scientists. In addition, um, the soil concentrations of radon, which are naturally occurring, um, can be used to uh, plot near-surface fault lines. Um, and changes in those concentrations um, can often help uh, scientists predict earthquakes before they happen. Some people say that radon um, can be used to treat arthritis, so they'll go and take baths in radon-concentrated waters. Um, however, this is uh, highly debated, and um, there are many sources say that there's no safe, or no safe concentration for radon exposure. So, I wouldn't necessarily recommend that. Um, this has been a brief discussion of the uses of radon.